Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno. Now I picked up Inferno at 80's Toys of Princeton, West Virginia. So not only did I add a brand new figure to my collection, I also shopped locally. Now let's take a quick look at Inferno in the packaging. We got Inferno there in robot mode behind that little tiny clear plastic window and some great artwork of Inferno in robot mode and fire truck mode trying to put out a volcano. He may have bit off just a little bit more than he could chew right there. On the back of the box, we got Inferno in robot mode and fire truck mode. Back of the box is more of that awesome kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Inferno opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Inferno all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card that is actually something different. I have Megatron, and this looks really cool. You got Megatron here in robot mode, and you open it up. Megatron in robot mode once again, wielding an axe, so that's a new look for Megatron. I guess that's his gladiator days. So that is really, really cool. That's the first Megatron card that I've seen. Grapple also includes his rifle, two hose accessories, and both of these look exactly the same. He also has two nozzle accessories. You got this one right here, which is more chrome and this one here that is gray. So now let's take a closer look at Inferno himself. Now Inferno here is a repaint and remold of Earthrise Grapple and what a fantastic remold he is. Great head sculpt. Look at the details. I love the little yellow here upon the horns, the silver in the center, the blue eyes, the silver face. He even has the wings that G1 Inferno is known for, and these are poseable. You can kind of bend those back if you will. That's mainly due to transformation, but it's still cool that you can add a little bit of variation to the wings on the figure. Uh, most of the details are the same that carry over from Grapple, aside from the head sculpt and the wings here. I mean, great looking figure. He's got a translucent clear chest right there and right there on the side let's see that's about it as far as the details are concerned articulation the head it's not on a ball joint but it can rotate a complete 360 the arms can go up and down and i love this it looks like he's got robot hinges or something there inside the arm that is really cool so the arms can go up and down the bicep can bend, the bicep can swivel. Let's see, there is no wrist rotation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go up and back, 
out and in. There is a knee bend, though very tight. There is a rotation there and an ankle tilt. So lots of posability for this guy. Man, I love that face sculpt. Now, with the accessories, you've got these little hose pieces here. These attach right there on the side of the leg. So you just match up the peg to the hole. And just kind of rotate those into position however you'd like. I kind of like the nozzle facing down like so. And now you have this nozzle here. The gray one that has the big hole on one side. This is going to attach right up here above his left shoulder on his little head container. So you've got that going on. Now, this piece right here, you can actually attach it to either one of Grapple's hands to make him look more G1 accurate. You just take the fist and flip around. And there you have a hole right there. So you slide this in. And there you go. Very, very G1 toy and cartoon accurate. And of course, he does have his blaster. You can put that in his hand. And now you have Grapple all armed and ready for battle. I love this figure. And he's not bad looking at all. He's got a few gaps right here on the back, but is, it is not as bad as some of the others. And of course, his backpack here is his ladder from vehicle mode that you tend, if you touch wrong, the head section will pop up. That's one complaint I do have. I wish this section snapped in a little bit tighter, but other than that, robot mode is near perfect. So now let's get Grapple transformed into vehicle mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and remove the weapon. We see, remove this nozzle here and right here. You can leave these hoses on. You never have to touch those again. We'll go ahead and flip this fist in. Take the wings from earlier and fold back. You're gonna take the head, or no, let's take this section. Bring this section out and fully extend, just like so. Now you're just gonna take the head and flip around. So the head is hid behind that box. Now this transformation is exactly the same as Earthrise grapples, so. You've seen this before. You're going to take the feet, fold these down, bring the hip section or the body section up. Mine is really tight. Oops, forgot. There's one more section right here. Bring that down. So there's a lot of extension to this part. Now, once this is down, now you're going to bring this body section up, bring the arms up like so. Go ahead and bring the legs up. Now, one thing that they have done, which they vastly improved on the grapple mold, is these pegs right here. See how they fluctuate in size? Grapple had an issue where you'd peg these in and the pegs would break off. So Hasbro actually learned from their mistakes and have fixed this where these will peg in, but it's not too tight and it doesn't go all the way flush. So you can pull these out without worrying about the pegs snapping off. So Kudos to Hasbro for actually learning something. So you get all this section flat here. You want to bring the arms around. Make sure these gray sections fold into the cab, like so. And now you want to make sure and match up, turn the arms to where the little hole right there is facing down. So they will peg into those holes. or those, The holes will peg into those pegs right there. Lock those into place. Bring the ladder down. Nope, I am wrong. Turn around this way. So you have the hollow part facing down, and these will actually clip together. It's been a long time since I transformed this guy. Now those will peg in. Bring the ladder down, and you can actually extend the ladder out, which is really, really cool. I dig that. Now you can take this nozzle here, and it will attach right here on the end of Inferno's ladder, like so. Take this nozzle, and just like Grapple, it attaches here on the back. It's got a little slot right there. Slide that in. And there we go. 
Inferno in fire truck mode. And this fire truck mode looks great. I mean, I dig it. Yes, he's just a repaint of grapple with the ladder extension, but it really works. You've got the hose there on the side. Of course, the ladder, the nozzle here up top. And I do love how the ladder can go in and out. That is really, really cool. The translucent windows don't look too bad. You don't see a lot of robot stuff on the inside. And that's what really bugs me a lot with the translucent collars. I dig the hoses. Big gap in the back, though. So that's one issue. The front looks really good. Autobot logo there. The silver lights, silver bumper. I dig it. I really like Inferno's fire truck mode. And now for a quick G1 comparison, we've got Kingdom Inferno with his G1 counterpart. So you can see a lot of the similarities. I like up here on the ladder, he's got that nozzle right there and a little tip, which kind of matches up to the nozzle and tip on this ladder. Of course, the G1 Inferno, his ladder can extend as well, but he's got a lot more reach than Kingdom. And of course, you've got the hoses there on the side. And let's see, not the wings. The wings for the G1 Inferno, they were separate. Now, a little bit better throwbacks would have been to have the hose and the wings white, but it is what it is. This is still a great looking vehicle mode and a great homage to that original toy. Now, of course, there is weapon storage as well, so you can take Inferno's rifle, and there's a hole right there that'll match up to the peg on the side of the rifle. Just peg that in, and now you've got Inferno all self-contained. And of course, the little nozzle is blast effect compatible, and that's about the only blast effect I have that kind of looks like water. So, <laughs> there you go. And that's pretty much it for Inferno in fire truck mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno with Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Generation 1 Inferno, and see what I mean? I wish the Kingdom one had the wings and hoses painted white instead of the gray, but still, it is what it is. And his mold mate, Earthrise Grapple. Now, Grapple here has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, so I really can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for Inferno. Why, yes, I got a new toy. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno is a great figure. He's built well, he's solid, tons of articulation, great Generation 1 throwbacks, and just an all-around awesome toy. This guy comes highly, highly recommended. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a great figure and a perfect remold. And what impresses me the most is that Hasbro learned from their mistakes and fixed the issue with his transformation pegs so they don't snap off like they did with poor old Grapple. This is a great looking bot, a great looking vehicle mode. I love the ladder attachments. I mean... This guy is awesome. So yeah, you see this one on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!